you're in coral spawn, it is the most fantastic thing on earth, honestly. It is, it is, it is the most amazing, jaw-dropping, wonderful thing to experience. And as a scientist, I've seen it on TV, and I've been on the edge of the ocean when it supposedly happens, but I'm so busy doing the science, I've actually never been in the water when it happens. Um, we often bring um, fragments and pieces of coral into the um, into our sort of open laboratory or, or right by the sea. And so I do see it, but I, I haven't seen the sort of the massive spawning on the Great Barrier Reef. And um, I mean, it's, it is so extensive and so um, amazing that you can see the slick from space. I mean, it's just fantastic. Um, and so what happens is that a coral corals must synchronize their, their uh, reproductive behavior because one coral cannot spawn uh, and, and if one coral spawns, nothing happens because they must cross-fertilize with one individual with the other. And so they must synchronize themselves. And the way they synchronize themselves is being attuned to the sun and the moon. And um, it is that, that um, synchronicity with the sun and the moon that tells them when they should spawn. I told you earlier that we know exactly when they're going to spawn down to the minute, pretty much. And it, it is that um, knowledge and that synchronicity of the corals with the sun and the moon. And so, um, it, and there are cells within the, within the adult coral that have uh, proteins, much like the proteins in our eyes, allowing us to see. I mean, I don't think coral really see, but they can respond and, and, they, and they respond to the light from the sun and the moon. And as a result, can synchronize their behavior.